not to complete. The last of the point came from Richards, but was it deflected here by Ryan Callahan? Well, when you get the overhead shot of it right here, watch his stick move right there. You see the stick just moving his hand. I think the puck raises the shaft, and I think Brad Richards right here is telling the referee, Wes McCauley, you know what? I believe that hit our captain, so you're going to have to change that. And uh, the referee skated right over, and they'll make the change. We'll have a look at it anyway. That's what they'll do. They'll have a look at it upstairs, and they'll make the call. Certainly, judging from the celebration, Callahan looked pretty excited on the play. He'd be excited if he had to score the five. He could have done it too. Bouillon ahead to Pacioretty. He can't get it through the pitch to Strawman. Dorsett there, puck support. Comes right back in front. Yellow bouncing it off the board. It's enough. Says it the other way. Scratch. Scratch. It fires off the blocker, off the stick of Price to the boards. Bouillon flipping it. It's a piece of Brossard. He's got to quickly get on that puck again. Trying the other way, the Canadians do. Yellow. Up the right wing to Rene Bork, banking it for Dayane. Do you see the black spot? Mm hmm. It's coffee. Stick check to take it away. It's from the coffee grain? Yeah. Passes it behind Bouillon. Big man gets to the puck. In front, looking for the tip is Dominic Bork. Just missing. It's fired right back in front by JT Miller. Long pass intercepted by Miller. Bork bouncing on the puck. Leads it for JT Miller. Turning away from the check to Miller. To the front of the net, a backhand, and another save by Price on route. Push out. Moore holding the puck. Picked up by Eller. Ahead to Briere. And knocked to center by Galchenia. Uh. Rangers onside. Pulley up shot is high and into the glass. Bars Eller back in his zone. Out to P.K. Subban. And Subban will flip it down the ice. A rolling puck gathered in by Girardi. Sends it right back to center. It comes on a Kareem off the skate of Markov to Kreider. He gets it in deep again. Stepan tying up Subban. It's behind the net. Two Rangers working vigorously behind the Montreal goal. And it comes free to Briere. He'll flip it again down the ice to relieve the pressure. Here, turnover there as Prost goes down. Probably a lot more this time with Gallagher not looking right coming back after the flu yesterday. Yeah. You, you know Gallagher's not right. We haven't mentioned his name once, especially around the New York net. Tip up body. Tip up body. Yeah. So they, they shrink a lot then. Shrink? Thirty uh, percent? No. Uh, normally, it depends on how much included water. But mm. uh, normally, it's eighteen. Eighteen person. The lead. It just gives Alan Vino some options as he's going to call a timeout here. He doesn't like the fact that his team's a bit tuckered out. They got a one nothing lead. No sense in, in risking it at this point. So I'll give him a breather and give me some instructions before they go up to the drop. You were talking about these crazy numbers in, in terms of the, the Bell Center curse against the Rangers. Just looking at the stats now, that, that goal, uh, the power play goal against Carey Price, that's the first goal he's given up in 172 minutes and 56 seconds against the Rangers. Crazy. You know, all the stats that go down, we were, you know, you look through this game and Girardi and McDonough played a lot of minutes in the first period. About three minutes ago, they had a shot against them. It was the first shot against them in the entire game. They have just shut down the Montreal Canadiens when they have been on the ice on the blue line together. So face off to the right of Carey Price. Eight eleven to go here in the second period. Price has faced 22 shots so far tonight. Strong draw, has to get possession. Subban off the glass to center with it. The career can't make a play. Subban again at his own line. His pass knocked out by Richards right to Callahan. Mm -hmm. Callahan drop in for Haglund. Subban loses his stick. Haglund in front for Callahan. He can't find the net. Haglund again. He's behind the Montreal goal. To the boards. Quick wrist shot by Richards doesn't get through. When do you take out the clay from the inside of the lid? A little bit dry. When it's dry, yeah. So you use a you use a hard you use yeah. metal to take it out. I'm sorry. In, inside the, under the lid, mm -hmm. it's solid clay, right? Yeah. It's just just the carving. Okay, carving. Yeah. The trimming.
<laughs> That's the culprit. Is <laughs> it uh, the spout? Stadium Series coming up uh, in the new year. A reminder, tickets go on sale this Thursday, November 21st. Those two big games, Devils and Rangers and Islanders and Rangers at Yankee Stadium in New York. Well, trying to make something out of nothing. He was trying to catch Press on the far wing and a three-on-one occurs at the net and a chance is, this isn't just a chance at the net, but it's an extra 30 seconds of end zone time for the Montreal Canadiens who were lucky enough that Terry Price could freeze that puck Pantoretti chipping his job without the play. He's been terrific tonight. In front of the pass from Bayernet goes right to Stefan. He outlets to Kreider trying to get by. Diaz and loses an edge. Rafael Diaz from behind his net. Josh George is headman right on the tape of Rene Bork. His pass gets away from Bayernet. Gathers it up, throws it high across the goal mouth into the yeah, near side. Side handle. Pantoretti takes a bump, gets it deep. Uh, okay. There's all pieces of the teapot. Hmm. 